Hey, what is up everybody? It is your boy, once again, The Hook Critic coming straight to you right here on your YouTube. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own scuff gaming controller. Stay tuned. So I got a request from one of my good friends. His son plays a lot of Xbox 360 and he wanted me to paint a controller for him for a Christmas gift. He wanted me to incorporate some of their lifestyle and I know they like to hunt a lot. Um, it is hunting season. Him and his son actually hunt and I incorporated some uh, some camo kind of a splatter here, you know, with the khaki background, the black and uh, the black and green splatter. Um, and it, uh, it is also a glow in the dark controller as well. Um, this controller glows in the dark. All you have to do is charge the controller up underneath a uh, fluorescent light or, or a light bulb and it glows in the dark. I added a PS3 thumbstick and also an Xbox 360 thumbstick as well. Something like the quote unquote scuff gaming controller. Their competition, uh, major league gaming controllers that uh, they use in competition, um, wired and um, wireless controllers they actually use and I also added the um, the bumper the trigger bumpers right there um, that um, you don't have to engage the triggers fully you just have to engage the triggers about a third of the way and you can engage the trigger the left trigger and the right trigger the zoom and the um, and the shoot button um, no need to paint the battery pack I paint I actually painted inside of that uh, that tray there that the battery pack also snaps into um, here are some of the uh, the products that I use an adhesive promoter now this right here um, breaks down the plastic it actually preps the plastic to be painted um, you spray this stuff on and it kind of scuffs the the plastic up without all the you know the hard work of sanding and stuff like that it actually um, preps the plastic to be able to be sprayed painted or prepped for whatever arts and crafts that you're doing now here is the Krylon you guys are gonna see a lot of Krylon in this video Krylon glows this is actually the glow-in-the-dark paint that I actually use for the controller to give it that glow-in-the-dark effect when his son is actually um, playing in the dark or you know his controller is just sitting there right by his bed and it's glowing in the dark because it's been sitting around it's been charged under a uh, fluorescent light or just a light bulb Krylon Fusion. Now this is a clear coat um, that I actually didn't apply that to this controller but this is a clear coat. It's a wonderful wonderful product. It dries in 15 minutes. Um, very inexpensive. Krylon Fusion. Alright. Now here's the camouflage paint that I use as well. Uh, just an you know, all purpose uh, flat camouflage paint. Khaki Camouflage, Fusion, once again, Krylon Fusion, that's something that you guys need to pay attention to when you're out here shopping around for paint to spray your controllers or just to spray your arts and crafts around the home. Um, like this stuff, I will be going back and getting the Camouflage Green and also the Camouflage Brown um, from that uh, line of Krylon Fusion. Um, here is also a inexpensive uh, paint that was $0.99. Cent. No big deal on that guy. Um, here, right here, are springs and the Allen key. The springs are basically for the trigger tension. If you want them soft, hard, or medium. And I also have that little Allen key in there for him to adjust the spring if he needs extra tension or less tension in the springs um, for the triggers. So, right here, I'm just basically showing you guys the controller. I'm um, just showing you all around. Uh, I did not paint the black bottom insert or the top bumper buttons or the triggers um, none of the buttons stick everything works well I just basically took the controller apart and actually prepped it and sprayed it uh, this was really one of the I don't know less creative but creative uh, controllers that I have done I have done many many things I have done you know, anime controllers, Scooby-Doo controllers. I've done a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I have a workshop down here in my basement that I actually spray and paint and stuff like that. And right here, I'm showing you guys the Allen screw um, for the trigger stoppers right there. 
Now in this clip, I'm going to show you guys some of the utensils, some of the things that I use. I actually use a drill and a drill bit. What you guys need to make sure of is um, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you have clearance um, with the trigger. And what I actually did is I actually squeezed each trigger. I went to Modern Warfare 3. Why I use Modern Warfare 3 uh, for, for the video uh, for doing this controller mod is because um, Call of Duty is one of the most played first person shooters in the community. It just is and his son actually plays a lot of Call of Duty and I wanted to leave this in the realm of him playing Call of Duty all the time. So what I did is I actually um, connected this controller, hooked it up, put in Modern Warfare 3 and I actually pulled each trigger to where I got a response and where I got a response that's where I tag that uh, that's where I tag that trigger I tag that trigger exactly where I got the response and that's where I began to drill that hole now what you guys need to make sure of is you have clearance from that screw and from the engaging the trigger you don't want to put the screw too far down on the trigger um, although that the trigger won't engage you need to make sure that you have enough clearance from that screw and also uh, the bottom of the controller shell to where you can actually get a response clear response it's a lot quicker at the fingers I love it and um, the only thing that I'm actually missing is bottom buttons the bottom buttons um, what you guys can actually do is go to Radio Shack or go to Home Depot Lowe's or something like that and um, get you guys some kind of a uh, button um, to be able to drill a hole at the bottom of this case and actually input a button and all you have to do is solder the positive and the negative to whichever button that you want that button to be. Um, I don't believe in auto fire mode. I did not uh, add an auto fire mode to this controller because I don't believe in it and I th pretty much think that his son doesn't believe in it as well. Um, but uh, it is one of those controllers. It's a nice controller. I spent um, not that long building, making it. Um, so I hope this video helped you guys out. Quit spending money with all these big name companies about these scuff gaming controllers and all this stuff. Do it yourself. Get your hands on. Start getting your hands on to your own things, you know. So your boy Hood Critic signing off and always peace and love. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace. So get your weight up. Holler at me later, holler at me later, holler at me later, holler at me later, so get your weight up, weight up.